Alzheimer's affects millions of people worldwide. Now research at UNM shows an unusual link between the disease and the herpes virus, like the cold sores adults and kids get every year in their mouth. News 13's Rachel Knapp spoke to a UNM professor about the study. University of New Mexico pathology professor Dr. Elaine Baer has spent years researching Alzheimer's disease. She's discovered two viruses common in children, but also found in adults, are directly connected to Alzheimer's. Those viruses are the herpes simplex, which causes cold sores, and the slap cheek disease that causes a rash on the face. My group found was that herpes simplex virus interacts with amyloid precursor protein, which is the protein that makes senile plaques that gum up the brain of people with Alzheimer's. Here's how it works. The green spots seen here are the herpes simplex virus that start to interact with the red spots, which is the protein that is a major component of the plaques that gum up the brain and Alzheimer's causing memory loss. They looked at the genes of the people who went on to Alzheimer's and they saw that it's an interaction between the virus and the gene. But researchers say you could only be at risk for Alzheimer's if you have a specific type of gene called SNP, along with the cold sore virus or slap cheek illness. But if you don't have it, you're fine. So that's why some people need the treatment and some don't. Dr. Barris says the next step for scientists is to see if children have that SNP gene to possibly prevent Alzheimer's from developing. They're still working on ways to do that. In the meantime, I advise everyone who has a cold sore to do acyclovir because it knocks the virus down. It doesn't wipe it out, it just knocks it down. Rachel Knapp, KRQE News 13. Dr. Bear says this is still in the research phase and there are no vaccines to kill those viruses, only preventive treatment. Scientists are also still in the process of developing molecular tests to start treating the SNP gene.